Today, we're going to walk through the process of installing the BARD mobile application for individuals who are U.S. residents. This is a application that will allow you to download free books if you have a reading impairment. For more information about signing up for BARD, please visit blindshellusa.com slash BARD. Link in the description. So we'll start out by pressing and holding the back button. 6.54 a.m. And this is on our main screen. We'll go down to applications, four of seven. And press OK. Internet browser, one of nine. Go up to app catalog. App catalog, nine of nine. Browse catalog, one of four. Press OK on app catalog and then OK on browse catalog. Recommended packages, one of four. The fastest way to get here is to go to option. Recently added, three of four. Three. And press OK. Bard Mobile, January 5th, 2023, 1 of 10. And the first application is Bard Mobile, added January 5th. We'll press OK. Install package, 1 of 3. And then we'll press OK to install the package. Downloading. We'll let that download over the next couple of seconds. 50% downloaded. Download completed. Installing. The app is installing. 100% install. Installation was successful. Run application. One of four. Now we'll press and hold our back button. 6.55 a.m. We'll go down to applications. Call. Applications. Four of seven. Press OK on applications. Internet browser. One of nine. Books. Five of nine. Choose books. Bard mobile. One of two. And there you find the Bard mobile application. Press OK to open it. Image, Bard Mobile, edit text, enter Bard username. And now we'll need to enter our username. For me, this is an email address, so I'll go ahead and enter that. Keyboard shown, D, E, right para at, empower, G, H, I, period, B, C, M, N, O, M. And when I'm done entering my email address, I'll press OK. Edit text. Enter Bard password. And it moves me to the edit text, enter my password, so I'll press OK. Keyboard shown. Enter Bard password. And now I need to get my password. Out of one password. Hey, blind shell. Just saying. D. Period. C. M. O. And then we'll press OK. Keyboard hidden. And if we press the down button. Accept terms of service. Unchecked. We have the terms of service to accept, so we'll press OK. Bard, end user license agreement. This end user license agreement and you'll read this or end user's license, license agreement. is by and between the Library of Congress and either a, a person certified as ineligible. If you press your back button after of reading the National it, Library, accept terms of service. Checked. You'll hear that the terms of service is now checked. Now, press your down button. Accept term login. Until you get to login and press OK. Progress bar. Get books. And the first thing you're put on is get books. If you press your down arrow. Bookshelf. Get books. Settings. Now reading. Now wish list. Recently added to Bard. Most popular books. Browse magazines. Previous downloads. Bard website. Last item. And I'll go up to previous downloads. Previous downloads. This is where you'd find books that you've downloaded to a different device. Remember, Bard won't allow you to synchronize your downloads between devices, but we'll press OK on this. Navigate up. And this puts me at navigate up. Navigate up is the button on the top left corner of the screen. So, so we need to press our down button until we get to the list of recent books. You can press it multiple times, but what I have found to be faster is to press number three and the phone will say controls and then press my down button. More options. Edit text. Title and author search. Search field. Press number one. Default. To go back to default and then press your down button a couple of times. Title. Author. Atomic habits. Tiny changes. Remarkable results. An easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. This sounds like a potentially good book. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and press the down button one more time. More info. Atomic habits. More info will allow you to get more information about this book. But if you press your up arrow, Atomic Habits, you're back on the title of the book. We'll press OK on the title of the book. Navigate up. 
Now, in this phone, I don't have a micro SD card. You would be prompted if you want to save this on your internal or external storage. But there is one prompt here, and I'll press and hold the down button to get to that prompt. Sell audio books. Double tap to download to the selected folder. And it says audio books. Double tap to download to the selected folder. Well, the blind child doesn't have a touch screen, so we'll just press OK on that. Navigate up. And now the book is downloading. Download completed. That tone told me that the download is completed. Now, let me go back to the main screen. 7.04 AM. I press and held the back button to get home. Remember, you can add Bard to your favorites applications, but let's go through the process of finding Bard in our applications real quick. Call, one of seven. Choose applications. Applications. Internet browser, one of nine. Choose books. Books. F Bard mobile, one of two. And now here's Bard mobile, we'll press OK. Image, Bard Mobile Splash Screen, with Get Books. And then we're put back on the Get Books. But for me, I want to go down to View My Bookshelf. So we'll just press our down button until we hear Bookshelf. More uh, Bookshelf, Bookshelf. And we'll press OK to open the Bookshelf folder. Bookshelf. And then, what I tend to do is just press and hold the down button to get to the bottom of the screen. Get Book, User Guide. There's the User Guide if we press up. Braille Magazines, zero. Braille Books, zero. Audio magazines, zero. Audio books, one. And there's audio books. We'll press OK. Navigate up. And then once again, press and hold the down button. Audio. More info. Atomic habits. And then up arrow Tiny once. changes. Atomic habits. And OK. Tiny. Now reading. Now this opens the book. If you want to actually play it, what is the easiest is to press and hold your down button. Recent increase speed. And then press up four times. One. Speed. Decrease fast forward. And four. Play. play. And then press OK. Stop. Atomic habits, tiny changes, remarkable results. And there's your audiobook on Bard using the Blind Shell Classic 2. Hope you found this to be useful. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I am available at atguys.com. Send an email to support at atguys.com, and I'd be delighted to help you further.